Welcome back to Abra Knowledge Channel. Today we are going to discuss acceptance sampling, and it is coming from the book called Fundamental of Quality Control and Improvement, Third Edition by Valley Publication. So this is the typical look of a book, and it has as a third edition, as I said, and it's a wonderful book, and it is uh, limited to India, Bangladesh, Nepal, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and Bhutan. And uh, basically, uh, it it has in chap tenth chapter tenth chapter as you know that when you say acceptance sampling and again the entire statistic revolves around the attribute and variable data type right if it is attribute data you need to use uh, there are many multiple standards are available in the market one of the typical uh, useful uh, is for the attribute data is attribute is something which you can count and classify for attribute data you can use ANSI Z1 0.4 and the same thing for variable you can use ANSI Z1.9 so these two are commonly used but through the statistic but more or less the approach is same and you have to go through the via OC chart as such we'll talk about what is OC chart and all that and uh, the agenda is uh, this is the agenda we will be talking about uh, maybe I'll show you in the sway model and this is the first one. Uh, we'll be talking about what is the advantage, disadvantage of uh, the sampling. What is, o there are two slides I have. One on the operating characteristic uh, curve and, and then what is sampling, single sampling, double sampling, multiple sampling and all that. Let's go to agenda. And uh, in the agenda, this is the three things which we'll be talking about it. Advantage, disadvantage of sampling, uh, OC curve, sampling type and case studies. Let's talk about uh, sampling by itself and in this one it has been very articulated uh, nicely uh, it has been said that keeping in mind that acceptance plan or auditing procedure right let's compare them to 100% uh, inspection sometime it is also called screening right and uh, what is the advantage of this one if inspection is a destructive 100% inspection is not not technically feasible right so sampling is more economical uh, more and it also uh, causes less damage due to handling and all that and but uh, this is a very important point if inspection cost is high or in in inspection time is long limited resources may take sampling preferable right and sampling reduce the inspection error and so on and sampling provide a strong motivation to improve the quality and so on and there is always a beta risk you will accept the a bad product you reject the good product and all that this too always happen beta risk uh, they call it right? consumer risk and producer risk right so let's go further And uh, let's talk about a uh, very important thing is that operating characteristic or OC chart. In this one, page number 471, it has given that lot acceptance probabilities for different value for proportion non-conformity. For the sample is, this is a sample unit, uh, 2000, N sample 50, and C equal to 2. Right, and as you can see that you know you can say probability is the NP is uh, non-conformity, right? Number of non-conformity in proportions, and the probability of acceptance. If it is zero, it is acceptance. Uh, probability of lot acceptance is hundred, right? And it goes further and on and on, right? As you can see that 0 0.05, 0 0.1 percentage. Uh, if it is 0.5, and the probability of acceptance go to 98.6. And 92, that means uh, 2 percentage and then goes on and on, right? And uh, even if you say, look at that 5 percentage example, 2.5 and uh, in the 54, only 54 percentage of acceptance, you will get it. Okay, uh, let's uh, go further. And in this one, it also has given a good case study. Uh, this is what we talked about now. It also has given a good case study. Uh, construct a OC curve, operating characteristic curve for a single sampling plan. So this is for single sampling plan, where the lot size is 2000 and sample size is 50 and acceptance number is 2. Right. And uh, in this one, you're going to put it like n equal to 2000, the small n that is a sample. This is a, a overall uh, how much unit you have, lot size. And this is the sample one, 50 sample, you're going to take it. And uh, C is acceptance number is two. 
right? That means what is mean that the probability of lot acceptance is equivalent to the probability of obtaining two or lesser or the fewer non-confirmed items in the sample. The poison distribution has been used, right? And uh, and then NP chart is basically like NP is also a chart, right? 50 and let it just multiply both together like 50 number and you have a 0 0.02, right? Uh, that means 2 percentage 0 0.02. That means 100, uh, sorry, 1. The probability of acceptance is uh, for this one, let's say 0 0.02. 0 0.02, if it is 1, uh, you have acceptance is 92 percentage, right? You see here. So how it has been calculated 15 to 0 0.02 is uh, NP is 1 and the acceptance you will get it 92 percentage. And then further it also has given that beautifully it has given in the curve. Uh, that is really, really nice. So let me show you the OC chart. That means if you, this is the number, uh, probability of acceptance, it is given in decimal 10%, 20% and it goes on to 100%. So 100% and then you have, uh, let's say 0 0.0. That 100% acceptance if it is 0, right? And if it is 0 to uh, proportion of non-conformities, right? And if the proportion of non-conformities increases the probability and then your acceptance level goes down. For example, point ten one, that means al almost like 20 percentage only for probability have, for probability of acceptance. The 80 percentage, it may go wrong. So this is what the n equal to, that's what we, we talked about that, that this is single sampling, n equal to 2000 and from there that uh, sample size was taken 50 and then this is a uh, C is uh, uh, the acceptance right number is two this is one of two uh, let me show you the next uh, one this is given very beautifully you can see here the probability of acceptance and it goes 100 and then this also goes proportion of non-conformity and you can see here 2000 and here i've taken the sample of 20 50 sorry 50 sample and uh, the cons the acceptance uh, probability of acceptance is 3 2 1 0 right and if it is 3 right you get it almost like uh, you get it higher right so for example 0 0.04 and even if it is 90 percentage acceptance right 0 0.04 right and then you get it to uh, c equal to 2 this is what a very important factor that means if it is uh, only the acceptance is let's say here right so we are talking about 0 0.04 and here you get only the 61 right and then further it goes down like uh, 1 that means uh, it again this is the uh, you need to correlate x and y and let's say you have a 2000 and then c equal to 0 that means uh, this is acceptance is very very low right and this is what as as you increase this one zero to one this is getting uh, you know better and uh, and then two and this is what here and uh, yet still you have a proportion of error and then you have uh, three right so the effect of acceptance number than the shape of the curve OC curve. Okay, and let's go to the next one. Let's talk about this. Is what was the chart we talked about it? The finally, we'll talk about the sampling. There are three type of sampling. You know, one is uh, one is called single sampling. Uh, the information obtained from one sample is used to make a decisions to accept the or reject the lot. Right? There are two parameters in the sampling. One, the sample of n and the acceptance number is required, right? Both, you have a large size, from that you need a sample size and then acceptance, right, right? And then one fundamental rule is every time you have to take the random one. And then the second one is a little tricky. Uh, the double sampling is involves making a decision to accept a, the lot, reject the lot, or take a second sample, follow-up sample, right? If the inferences from the first sample is that the lot of, the lot quality is quite good then then the lot is accepted if the inference is that the poor uh, lot quality the lot is rejected right again you have to take another sample uh, to examine further right and multiple sampling is what an extension of double sampling and this involves three four fives and all that you can desire you can take how much sample you want the sample size in multiple sample are usually less than 
less than those you can take double sampling and uh, and which is in turn usually less than the equivalent single sampling as such so and thank you so much and hope you like this video please do like share subscribe my channel you have wonderful day